Hey guys, welcome to another LV1 quick tip video. I posted on Facebook earlier today asking what tip I should cover next with the LV1. And Dominic Pekka asks, I hope I'm saying your name right. I wish to know how to gain multiple channels, if it's even possible. Well, the answer is yes. So we have our toms set up on a DCA or link group, basically one of the same. We can see our ghosted faders because we've pulled the tom DCA down a little bit. But we can also link these faders together and some parameters. So we can go up here and hit this link button. You notice that we have toms selected. We can also go and select that right here and it will come up. See how it's changing. So once that's selected, you can see these orange bars with the number one. And now we have linked faders and we can adjust their controls relative to each other. We also have some parameters that are linked. If we go to our channel, let's go ahead and pull down our compressor. We'll turn it on. You can see both controls are linked. And let's turn our gate on too. And you see we have link controls. We can also go to our EQ, change the frequency. We'll just move this up here. See one's linked on both. And let's pull down the gain of three. Now, if we want to grab these orange circles and make an adjustment, we've got a little bit of an issue. So we can pull down two and move the frequency at the same time. However, the frequency does not track. The gain does, the frequency does not track. I think this is a bug right now, and I reported it as one. So hopefully we'll see that in an upcoming fix. We'll move on to our aux sends. We'll turn on aux one. We turn it on on both. We'll add a little bit of level. And we have link controls on both. We can also go into our sends here. Let's turn it on here. We'll adjust the level, see how they're linked. Um, go into our Dynamics EQ section, turn the filters on and off. You've got a lot of options once you've turned on Link. Now, here's what it doesn't do. If you want to go into your Dynamics and make an adjustment in the channel window, then they're independent of each other. And you can see here that they're slightly different now. Now, here's the cool thing. Maybe that's what you wanted, but you want to make an adjustment relative to each other. So we'll go back to our channel view and we'll just boost up band four. And you see we made an adjustment, but they're relative values now. Same with the compressor. So I'll pull this one down a little bit. And you notice that we pulled this one down even more. We can also go over to our rack. Let's see, we'll add a C6. We've added a C6 on both. Anyway, I hope this quick tip video helped you guys. Uh, please like, share, subscribe as always, and leave in the comments what video I should cover next with the LV1.